Now, gold is not the only metal that is at record levels. Aluminum prices, they're rising as well. Novellus is an aluminum products company. It saw its net sales for the fiscal year $10.5 billion. That was a 22% increase over the previous year. Philip Martens is the chief executive of Novellus, and he joins me now for a CEO sit-down. He joins us from Atlanta. Philip Martens, welcome to Bloomberg. Be here. Now, for those that don't know about Novellus, just explain a little bit about the company. It's owned by the Indian-based Hidalgo. You've got 31 manufacturing plants in 11 countries around the world. Automobile companies, they make up a good chunk of your customers, correct? Yes. Yes, the automotive sector for Novellus is about uh, 7 to 10 percent of our overall sales, but that is a rapidly growing part of our business. Novellus is the world's largest producer of rolled aluminum product. Uh, we're represented globally. We've got about 12,000 employees. And as you said, we had sales of about $10.5 billion last year. Tell so me when you think about it, th tell me about ahead, your please. results today. The results today were outstanding. Uh, net sales were at, uh, excuse me, gross revenue was at 10.6 billion. What we look at is EBITDA. We had a record level of EBITDA just below 1.1 billion. Very strong operating cash flow. And we also announced today a set of very significant growth projects throughout the world, including here in North America. Tell us about some of those growth prospects, because I know that you're going to be spending some of the money that's on your balance sheet in order to beef up your presence around the world. You know, it's, uh, the aluminum business is absolutely a fascinating business uh, in this day and age. The demand for the product we produce is far outstripping, really, our ability to supply, and we're currently at capacity. So we've looked at growth in many different areas, but we have a broad expansion in our Asian operations, almost doubling the size of our facilities there. That will move us to be the largest producer, rolled producer in the Asian market. And here in North America, we announced a strategic investment of about $200 million to grow our automotive heat treating capacity in anticipation of greater demand for lightweight aluminum product going to future automotive products. And around the world, Brazil is another area we're expanding uh, rapidly, almost doubling the size of our business there over the next five to seven years. So in totality, we see strong demand for the Brazilian, Asian, and even North American markets. And an overall business for us, we're going to grow our capacity by over 30 percent worldwide over the next three to four years. Philip, can you explain a little bit about the bottlenecks that may exist right now that you're working on in order to boost your production by that 30 percent? You know, in the short term, we do have what's called a de-bottlenecking programs throughout our existing footprint. These are smaller, very targeted projects that help us to eliminate capacity de-bottlenecks, improve throughput, and operate more efficiently. Novellus is a company that is, has a very strong manufacturing know-how and capability. And through that, within our current asset base, we believe we can get about an incremental 10 percent capacity improvement over the next one to two years. After that, the major project programs that we're uh, investing in will kick in, and that'll give us an incremental, call it 700 kilotons of capacity. In total, the two combined activities will allow us to grow extensively. And at the end of that process, which is about three years, Novellus will end up being at about 4,000 kilotons of capacity. To give you an idea, that'll be more than 60 percent more, 70 percent more than our nearest competitor, clearly making us the world's leading producer of rolled aluminum product. Now, Philip, on today's conference call, there were some comments by analysts saying, all right, you're doing great business. What about a dividend? What's the likelihood of a dividend? Or right now, is all of that cash flow going to be plowed back into the company's growth? You know, as we said this early, earlier this morning, for this coming fiscal year, there are no plans for a dividend to be sent up to our parent. Uh, as you may know or may have read, last year we sent a significant dividend as part of our restructuring of the overall capital structure of the business up to our parent. But over time, given our cash flow, we do have the opportunity to look at, on an annual basis, a dividend back to our parent. But we will clearly make that in discussion with our board and our chairman on relatively what's the best use for that capital. For now, we're going to invest into Novellus, and we're going to continue along that path over the next couple of years. 
And year over year basis, we'll look at a dividend and make a decision as it best fits us and best fits the overall structure of the Aditya Birla Group. Philip, can you talk a little bit about your plans in China and what's going on there? You know, we made a very significant announcement in our overall expansion of our Korean assets. And as we looked around the Asian market, there's a lot to be considered when you look at a investment of the size and scale that we are. Critical to us was being able to control the quality of the entire event. So getting involved with a wholly owned, uh, excuse me, a wholly owned greenfield site, which would have been about three times as expensive as what we did, a joint venture, or some other method that we could have actually looked at either entering China or some other part of Asia, all of those carry a degree of risk that we didn't want to take on. When we looked at our Korean assets and the quality right. of people, supply, and the, and the uh, overall stability there, we felt we had We've a clear advantage by Philip continuing Philip Martens of Novellus.